Easy video today on how you take apart and put back together a Ruger Mini 14. Seems like there's a lot of pieces the first time you do it, but it's really not too bad. So first thing is to clear the gun. Then make sure that the safety's on, safety in the rear position. Next, you're gonna need a tool, some sort, a flathead screwdriver or a punch works. I like to put the gun upside down on the workbench. Insert your tool into the back of the trigger guard, gently pry open the guard, and it'll pop open. Pull the guard up. With the guard up, hold on to the stock and you can pull it straight out. Now on the inside, there's this, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a tongue, but inside on the receiver and the inside is a groove. When you put the gun back together, that groove is where the tongue here will slide into. With the trigger guard out of the way, you can just lift up the stock and pull that off. Now it's time to take out the slide spring, the buffer guide rod, the buffer bushing, and the buffer cross pin. Do this by pulling back and letting this out. It's quite a bit of spring tension there. The pen, will, the pen will fall out and out comes the bushing. There's an indent in the receiver here. And you can pull back the slide. And when the slide mates up with that indent, the whole slide will come off. At this point, you can work the bolt out and it will tip out. If you give it a little wiggle, it'll come. The bolt stop can hang up on that rear lug and make that a little bit interesting coming out. And if you like, now's a good time to pull off that handguard. That's as far as you really need to go, but you can also take out the bolt stop. And if you take the bolt stop out, that'll help get the bolt back in. You can get the bolt back in, but it's a little bit hard to wiggle it in place. With a punch and a hammer, you can take and knock that plate off. Now you can lift out the bolt stop along with the pin and the spring. There we have it all taken apart. Seems like a lot of parts, but once you do this a couple times, it's not that many parts. Putting it back together, you can take the bolt, I'm gonna slide it back in the receiver. You can get the bolt back in without taking the bolt stop off. It just takes a little bit more finesse to get the bolt back in here, back in the receiver. Take the pin, spring in first. Notice where that little hook is, where that notch is. What you do here is push down on the pin, the key in the little groove, and drop that whole thing in place. Then you just take it and you turn it upside down. Put the plate in. And push down. Now it's time to put the slide on. Pull the bolt back to about here. The bolt is going to fit inside of this groove here. I'd call this a cam and a camshaft. 
that's going to tilt back into position. Remember the little key with the slide and the receiver there. Move that all the way forward. Easy if you could just put the gun upside down. The buffer bushing has a flat machined in it. Same thing with the slide. There's a flat there. Put the cup towards the barrel, towards the muzzle, and the flat towards the barrel. Now it's time to put the spring and guide rod back in. This is a little tricky. It's under quite a bit of pressure. Let's put the pen in first too. Need to put the handguard on. Do this a little gently so you don't want to hit the handguard on the slide. Push down on that too is a good way to do it. Now it's time to get the gun back in the stock. Tilt the stock into place. And remember, there's a groove in the receiver. There's a little tongue here on the on the trigger group. Get that lined up. Once it's in place, push down. Guns back together. Make sure it cycles. And you want to put a magazine in and make sure the bolt catch works. Gonna have a few more Mini 14 videos coming out. Thanks for watching.